Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com Today in this video, we are going to talk about how we can verify whether drop down values are coming in the ascending order descending order In our previous videos, we have discussed how to select the values from the drop down, how to capture the values from the drop down and how to use them But testing is all about you need to verify whether these drop down values are coming in a proper order or not Few drop downs do not have this requirement but few drop downs have this requirement that these drop downs should come either in the ascending order or in the descending order so we are going to talk about both so what will be our approach so now if you remember in select class we have a method called get options which will return you all the values in a form of list then we capture the values from the list so in order to compare right uh, we need two list so one list we will get directly from the web uh, directly from the web element which is select drop down one we have to create it and we need to short them either in the ascending or de descending order based on requirement then finally we will compare okay so what exactly we will be doing first we will start okay let's say this is a web page okay so from this web page let's say we have one drop down so we will capture all the web elements and we will store them in a list so we'll capture all the details and store them in a list so this list can be in any order this list will be the actual which is coming from the drop down now this can be random ascending or descender doesn't matter it can be in any order now this is our task to verify whether it is in a proper order or not so what we will do we will create one more list okay which is exactly copy of this which is exactly copy of this just a minute yeah I don't know why it is not working. Okay, which is exactly copy of this, and finally we will sort them either ascending or descending. Now, how to sort them? We have a separate class called collections class. Now we can verify this in multiple ways, but we are using this collection way because already we have inbuilt libraries. So we can we can directly use them. So let me show you how exactly you can do it. Okay, let's. Uh, this is already one program which I tried. So let's create from the scratch. I will show you. So let's create a class called drop down demo. You can use public static void main or you can use test ng test doesn't matter because right now we are going to cover the logic part now before you start this video make sure you are familiar with array list which is nothing but <clears throat> list so basically you should be aware of collection topic apart from this you should be familiar with how to work with drop down so if you are not uh, familiar with them I will give you the link in the description go ahead and watch these two videos then only you will understand this apart from this we are going to use one new class today called collections class now this is interview question as well guys like what is the difference between collection and collections collection is an interface collections is a class so we are going to use both of them in today's video just to save some time already I have a path where my chrome driver is located directly I will start with the coding part we are going to start a chrome driver we are going to pass the URL so for this example I already created a small web page which you can use this also I will provide in the description so you can see we have two drop downs So one drop down you can see it is in the ascending order right it starts with a and uh, then c 
DNS so auto IT cucumber docker and selenium I also have one more this is not in a proper sequence it is in a random order so we'll verify both so this is not in a descending order this is a random order guys so what we will do we'll capture this URL now we are going to use we are going to use this drop down so what we will do we will inspect this and we will capture all the values so now if you have seen my previous video we are going to use one select class so this select class will help you to select the values or to fetch the values from the drop down so we have captured this id called tools from the drop down and now using this tools object we can access all the values so when i put tools dot get options you can see it is providing list of web elements so which we will store in list of web elements and let's say this is my tools so this is actual a list what we need we need the values which is stored inside this web element as of now it will store all the web elements but we need the actual values so first of all we need an one list right where we can store all this so let's create a list this i will say actual list equal to new array list if you wish you can directly take string array list i will take default array list which should store everything so we'll capture the attribute or the values one by one and we'll start adding into this list this will be our actual list so how to get these values either you can use iterator or you can use for loop or you can use enhance for loop i'm going to use enhance for loop where i will pass this list web element so it will start iterating one by one it will store into ele from ele this is nothing but web element i have to capture the text which will return me as a string i will say data and this data i have to store into this list correct this is our first task once we get the data we have to start adding into this list we have an add method and we are going to add data so this for loop enhance for loop will add all the values which is coming from the drop down into this array list that is our first task now we need another list right so that we can compare so let's create another list and this i will make this as a temporary list now this temporary list also should have the same data right so either i have to feed it manually or i can directly use this list and we can add here so i can say temp dot add and you can see we also have one method called add all where i can add another list into this so what exactly we did we took the actual list and we added directly here so now we have two list both are same but now we need this list to be shorted right now you can use collections class now collections is a class guys so if you just put mouse over which will have so many methods so whatever collection related methods we have you will find here okay so let me show you when you put dot operator okay you can see here it is have many methods like reversing the order checking the uh, your all the binary operations okay binary search algorithms checking whether this map is sorted or not many methods we have here we are going to use one small method called short what exactly it will do it will short the list whatever list you will pass okay 
this will short in a ascending order case okay so by default when you use this short method it will do in a ascending order now we have both the lists so now you can use assert dot assert equals or let's say assert true if actual list dot equals temporary list then it should return true if true is passed to assert true then it will pass otherwise it will fail right this is little confusing for you guys if you are doing this first time but trust me when you do this two three times <coughs> it will be very easy i will show you in the debug mode what exactly we are doing first we need the actual list which is coming from the web page so we have captured the web element text and we add it into list now we created one temporary list and we added all the data into this temporary list and then we have sorted them so now it will be in ascending order if both values are same it means our drop down in ascending order let's try this then we'll go to the next example so let's right click debug as java application and guys this is assert which is coming from test ng if you are completely new about assert then for assert also has separate video where we have discussed how to use assert class so this is our web page which is loading okay so let's find the web element and now these tools have the actual drop down so this is the uh, temporary list we created like blank list now from the drop down we call one method called get options it will return all the options as a list of web elements you can see now we have total four values here you can see here four right now what we are doing as of now you notice here this error list which we created actual list it's empty right now because we don't have any data it's just blank what we are doing we are capturing values one by one capturing the text and this data we are going to add into this list now now if you put mouse over this list have one web element called auto it now do this second time and next time you will get cucumber third time it will capture from the drop down add into list now we have docker and finally it will be selenium right now elements are done so it will come out of this loop now we are creating another temporary list which is obviously blank as of now so what we are doing we are adding the actual list into temp okay so now we have temp which is actually a list actual list was also another another error list and you can see as of now since it's a happy scenario both values are same so even though i call this short method our list is already shorted so now when we compare actual list and temp list is same definitely yes so it will pass right no error it means it successfully executed so this is how you can verify whether they are in ascending order or not just to make sure our code is working fine or not this you can see this is not in ascending order so ideally this should fail okay so just to make it like test case better i will take this as a test case one and let's run this as a test ng test so what exactly we have to do now we will simply change this to tools one in this case now we'll get another drop down we'll short them and we'll verify whether they are in a shorted order or not so let's again run the same program in a debug mode and let's see
and just let me yeah yeah so now we have the data so let's call this many times so we'll get all the data yeah so now we have an actual list which has selenium selenium cucumber and test ng so guys there's another tool called selenium it's not like by mistake i have it selenium is separate tool now which is mainly used for the docker so if you are completely new to selenium i would recommend you to just check the selenium as well i'm going to make a video on selenium as well but for the time being if you are interested to know what exactly is selenium just check it out okay so this is our actual list now we are creating one temporary list and in the temporary list we are going to add the actual list which is coming from the web so now we have one temporary list and one actual list now in order to okay let's short them so what exactly we are doing now we call the short method for the temporary list right and now you can see it has shorted right cucumber then selenium test engine and finally selenium in this case it should fail because actual is different actually starting with selenium but uh, expected is it should start with cucumber in this case it will fail and you can see expected was true but found false okay guys so it's very easy code create a list add all the values in the list create another temporary list short them and then compare in case if you want to do this in a reverse order i will give you one code in case if you want to verify in the descending order as of now i don't have any application where we have the drop down in a descending order in case if you have certain then just call one method called reverse order in this way it will short the current list in a reverse order if you don't pass any parameters it will short by default ascending order but you want to short them in a reverse order then you have to call collection dot reverse order okay so just try this code from your side and i will give you all this link in the description and all the videos which is required which is array list drop down collection and assert just try this and let me know if you find any issues in the comment section that's all i have for this video if you like this video please share with your friends okay and subscribe to my channel for more updates and in case if you have any doubt you can also email me at mukesh at one at red learn hyphen automation.com that's all i have guys have a nice day bye bye